The overlay element displays an image with a content overlay. It has an image field or an alternative video field. Three text fields title, meta and content. As well as a link with its text field. You can also select an optional image that appears on hover. Now let's take a look at the element settings. The overlay can be displayed as a cover or as a caption. You can also show the overlay from the very beginning or only on hover. If shown on hover, select a hover transition. Additionally, there is an option for the cover mode to only fade in the background, while the overlay content is visible from the very beginning. Mind, there is a minimum height option for the image to prevent the content overlay from becoming larger than the background image on small devices. In such cases, you should set the minimum height. For example, let's set it to 500 pixels. Now let's go over the style options. The overlay has various style options. It can look like a transparent overlay, an opaque tile, or show just the content. Here we have an overlay default style in the cover mode and in the caption mode. The overlay primary in the cover mode and in the caption mode. And finally, here's a tile secondary style as a caption and as a cover. There is an option to set the text color for the overlay content to either light or dark. For example, on the left, I have a light image, which is why the text color is set to dark. But on dark images, as in the example on the right, the text color should be set to light. If necessary, you can inverse the text color on hover, for example when using a hover image or when a different background fades in on hover, as seen in the example above. Here I have a light text color and on hover a dark text color. Additionally, you can select the padding between the overlay and its content. And there are various options to position the overlay and its content in regards to the overlay image. For example, here I have a top center position and in the example on the right, a bottom center position. If you have selected a style, you can apply a margin between the overlay and the image container and set the maximum content width. For example, let's set it to large. You can also select an image transition. Here I have a scale down transition and a scale up transition. If the hover image is set, as in the example here, The transition takes place between the two images. Just like with the image, you can select a transition for the title, meta and content when the overlay appears on hover. In my case, I have a slight top small transition for the title and a slight bottom small transition for the meta. And in the example on the right, the title and meta slide from the left and right. There are various options to link the overlay element. You can either link the title and button separately or link the whole overlay. 
Additionally, you can set the hover style for the title. This style is kept even if the whole overlay is linked. Of course, the overlay element has much more other settings. But since options for the different content fields are very similar across all elements, they are described in the corresponding image, headline, text, and button element documentation. Mind that multiple overlays can also be displayed in the gallery or overlay slider elements. 